Republicans. We go now to the Democrats, and it now appears uh, it, that some are suggesting President Biden could be entertaining the idea of withdrawing from the race for president. Tonight, he's in Delaware with his wife, isolating after he came down with COVID. The latest Democrat to suggest Mr. Biden may be in trouble? Barack Obama. I would assume reporter Stefan Kim continues our political coverage tonight with the latest on the calls for the president to step aside. Stefan. Sources close to President Biden tonight tell ABC News there has been a clear change in his thinking. Now more receptive to hearing from Democrats who say he cannot win and that he should get out of the race. But he is not there yet, still committed as ever to staying in the race. He has, though, asked his inner circle for polling on how Vice President Kamala Harris would fare. Harris, for her part, campaigned in North Carolina today and focused her fire on GOP VP nominee J.D. Vance. You cannot claim you stand for unity if you are intent on taking reproductive freedoms from the people of America and the women of America. Meanwhile, as he isolates in his Delaware beach house while recovering from COVID, the White House released a letter from the president's doctor which says Biden is experiencing mild upper respiratory symptoms, he does not have a fever, and his vital signs remain normal. The president is taking Paxlovid. This as calls from Democrats for him to exit is reaching a crescendo. Sources tell ABC News Democratic Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer presented him with bleak polling data amid concerns the president's advisors aren't giving him the full picture. The Washington Post is reporting former President Obama told allies that Biden needs to seriously consider his viability. The move to get him out is not going to stop. They're doing it very smartly. It's not a thousand cuts up front. It's a thousand stabs in the back. Democrats know this decision rests solely on the president. The question is, who is he listening to? Stefan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.